I've never tried a baby roof, never tried one. Again, heard of them, seen them on films. I feel like I'm losing all kinds of virginities today right now. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Danny here again. Yeah, my intros are so cheesy, so let's just move on. Following my video where I ate sushi for the first time. It doesn't smell too fishy, right, okay. I don't know, Adam. I've decided that I want to try foods from all over the world. And the first place I'm going to start with is America. I love America, I've been there twice, but I've not tried all the foods that are there. What we're going to do is we're going to go to an American sweet shop and then we're going to come back here after that and then I'm going to try various American sweets. That's the intro. Okay, so the shop we just went to was a shop in Manchester Arndale called Over the Rainbow. Guys, definitely check it out if you get a chance. There's their contacts there if you want to check it, if you want to check out the shop. I've tried to mix it up as much as I can. So I've tried to get sweets, chocolate and crisps and a drink to wash it down. I've heard of Takis, right? I swear to God, I've heard of these so, so many times and I've never tried them. So yeah, this is my first time trying Takis. Let's see what they're like. Right, so they're a weird colour for a start, in my opinion. They look like, you know, like tandoori, like tandoori chicken or something. I don't, I always think a chicken don't have, is Okay, they initially felt really good. <laughs> and as I got into it, they didn't feel so good again. And now there's like, enough the hot taste. Now they kind of feel good again. What a roller coaster. I like them, but there's something I kind of don't like about it, I'm not sure. What would I give them out of 10? Takis out of 10. I'd give Takis, a, I'm gonna say a seven out of 10. Cause they are nice, but they're missing something for me. Just missing something, I'm not sure what it is. Right, okay. I need a drink after that. So I'm gonna try this drink, uh, which is, like I said, it's a cream soda. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's like, I think when I was little, we used to get cream soda from the ice cream van. So I, I have tried cream soda before, but not this one. But yeah, cream soda's good. I'm gonna give the cream soda, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. An eight out of 10. Cause I feel like I'd get sick of it after too much, but if someone handed it me, yeah, I'm drinking it. Guy in the shop really recommended that I try different flavor M&Ms cause we don't have that many flavors in England if anyone's watching from America. So yeah, I've never tried caramel M&Ms. These sound so good. I hope they're as good as they sound. Let's give them a go. Yeah. That's a little bit like a mouth orgasm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not always that keen on M&Ms and the reason being is because sometimes I feel like they're a bit hard but then the caramel seems to soften them a bit. So I'm giving them definitely a nine out of 10. We move on to, oh no, I've got to try. I've got to try the Baby Ruth. Oh my God, I forgot. I've never tried a Baby Ruth, never tried one. Again, heard of them, seen them on films. I feel like I'm losing all kinds of virginities today right now. I swear to God, it just tastes like a Snickers. Which isn't a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, but it's an eight out of 10. I think it's an eight out of 10, baby Ruth. Because Snickers are great. But would they be my favorite chocolate in the world? I don't think so. Right, moving on to sweets now. I got the Swedish fish, mini tropical. The reason I got the fish is because this is a fish that I'm hoping I'm gonna like, <laughs> unlike sushi. But I'm just hating on sushi. I'm sorry to whatever country came up with the idea to create to eat fish raw. They look a little bit hard, so I don't know if they're going to be too good for the teeth, but let's try. Oh no. Soft. They're really soft, they're really good. These exceeded my expectations, so I'm giving them a 9 out of 10. Ooh. I'm sorry, the scores are all really high, but I just love sweets and chocolate, simple as though. Who doesn't? Right. Popular American sweets, the guy said in the shop, is Jolly Rancher, okay? Not tried Jolly Rancher yet. Let's give Jolly Rancher a try. And then after that, we've got the extreme sour and we're saving that till last because of the reaction to see if they are really extreme sour. We need them to be extreme sour because it preaches it on the front of the packet. Jolly Rancher first though. If I could open it. <laughs> right. Oh my God, it's in another bag. I, I'm, I'm downgrading this straight away because <laughs> and it's super hard. 
I got that dead. That's so boring. It's gonna take me ages to suck on it. I guess if you're sucking on it, it's not too bad. I might do like a one hour later transition. I'm giving Jolly Ranchers probably like a three or four out of ten. So finally, 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 we have got the it's Warheads Extreme Sour. Like I said, I hope this lives up to the name. Extreme Sours, let's do this. I feel like the sourness has lost its sourness though. Well, it was good for like 20 seconds. Will it regain it? Oh, it's got another taste now, it's got another flavour. This is like, it's like a little special surprise as I'm eating it. But they are hard. I don't like hard sweets really. But 8 out of 10 for extreme sour. American food, American sweets, candy, whatever you want to call it, love it, love American food altogether. If anyone has any suggestions of other American foods that you want me to try, let me know in the comments guys. Also we're going to be doing foods from all sorts of different countries, so any suggestions let us know in the comments. Guys please remember to like and subscribe okay. Yeah, I've been Danny and this outro is as awkward as my intro, so <laughs> I'm probably going to end it there. By having one last drink of uh, cream soda. Absolutely buzzing.